Hello there, it's Sandy and it's World Card Making Day 2021. I hope you're going to have a good day ahead. I thought I'd show you a little day in the life since I have a very short tutorial. Then you could see a little of what my day is like. We start off with our Bible study and my dogs actually attend. When I sit in my chair, they sit with me. It's kind of weird. I don't know how much they listen, but there you go. Usually they're watching for squirrels and they watch for squirrels on our walks as well. Giallo is my puller in general. He alternates between pulling and walking in a civil manner. And Vienna is my sniffer. She has to smell every blade of grass. It's really annoying, but they do love getting out for their walks. And we get back home. And the next thing we do to start off our day, our creative day, is to grab a sketchbook. And I have an embarrassing number of sketchbooks. But I just grab one. Sometimes I do it with my eyes closed so I have no choice in the matter and then use whatever medium works in that sketchbook. And this particular one is a Stillman and Burn and it works really well with pen and ink and you can do some watercolor wash with it. So I had an idea that I saw on Instagram that I thought I'd try and this seemed a good time to try it out and see if it's going to work. The person that I had scene she did a reel and it had like two million views on it something crazy and it was really simple she made a bunch of blobs of watercolor and then took a pen and drew pumpkins into each one that's it that was the whole thing I thought how do you get two million views on a video like that I work really hard and do fancy coloring on mine and it doesn't get nearly that I don't understand that makes no sense anyway I decided to see if it would work with stamping so we're going to stamp into these with a stamp set. And this is a great way to try out ideas. If you see something, you're like, I don't want to waste my good paper on it. And a lot of people say that they get intimidated by getting a good piece of paper out. A sketchbook is just a sketchbook. It, so what if it doesn't work? No big deal. So I put some blobs of watercolor on here. My learning from this was to decide whether or not I wanted to have some of the blobs touch so I get color bleeding or not have them touch so I have pure color. And I'm stamping, you might notice some elements with a theme. There's Big Ben and the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Eiffel Tower, some suitcases, a passport. Well, it's World Card Making Day, so that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, we have a world theme here. But there's also something special about this stamp set that I'm using. It's brand new just for World Car Making Day. And it has in it your favorite bear. And I say your favorite bear because I see so many cards with it. I know a lot of people love this bear. So now the bear has travel accoutrements to play with. So that's kind of fun, isn't it? Well, for the rest of my sketchbook thing, since I like to do lots of different things, when I'm playing in my sketchbook, instead of just stamp and call it done, I am going to do some doodling with a pen. I'm using a fancy fountain pen, but you could just use a big pen for all that matters. And I'm going to see what it looks like if I put some doodling in the blobs along with each of the images. So it was kind of fun to create some scenes around some of them and others. I didn't have an idea for what to do with the bread. So I just put some lines in there just so there's some doodling. I'm going to be doing a giveaway today since it is World Card Making Day. And by the end of the day, I'm going to choose two winners for a flat rate envelope full of stamps and dies and who knows what's in them. There's all kinds of goodies in them. And I'm going to choose one from here and one from the live video I'll be doing later on Ellen Hudson's channel. And what I want you to do, though, very special thing, in order to tell me that you want to be entered, I want you to use the word PISA. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, P-I-S-A, in your comment. So find a way to put that in a sentence in your comment, and then I'll know you want to win. Do that on both videos, the live video at noon Pacific time over on her channel and here on this video. And I will choose winners. Yowza! So let's get back to this one. I decided for the bear he was going to need a passport. And since I had the passport stamped right there on my page, I could see how to draw a passport. And I also wanted to add suitcases. So I had two suitcases in the stamp set. They're stamped right on the page. 
So I'm using those as models to make some shapes that will indicate that there's two suitcases. You could do that with your stamps. Did you know that? Instead of trying to mask them, you could just draw in a little element here and there. Well, my bear needed sunglasses because, you know, it's travel time. Why not wear sunglasses? When I travel, I tend to wear sunglasses sitting on top of my head and then my regular glasses on my face so I can trade back and forth. It's kind of my signature airport look. <laughs> so here's the stamp set and you can see it has some sentiments to go with it as well. There is a coordinating die set if you need the dies. I usually do the masking instead of using dies for stuff. And there's also a new stamp set that has thank you sentiments in different languages, which is perfect for me. I send out thank you cards to my patrons all the time, and it's going to be fun to send it out with their language on it sometimes. And there's a kit if you're interested in the kit where you can get the stamps and you can get paper to go with it. So, so a six by six from Lunfon and some washi tape. So links to all of that are in the doobly doo down below. Now, I said I was going to be live on Ellen Hudson's channel at noon Pacific today, and I'm going to show her how to do the masking for this bear, putting together the suitcase and the bear and the passport and the hat, all of that at once. And I'm going to be wearing a beret myself. So if you want to see that, and if you want to enter for the second prize, go over there at noon today and leave the word peace out in a comment leave it on this video as well because I'm going to pick winners at the end of the day and I will announce it on my blog tomorrow to tell you who the winners are. All right, I will see you guys later. Happy World Card Making Day. I will see you on Ellen's channel live later on. Bye-bye.